a standard a standard normal curve normal curve and don't forget the standard normal curve the standard deviation the standard deviation is equal to one okay so that's our standard deviation so the question is within one standard deviation of the mean how much how much area would I expect to find under the curve so let's try to do that particular calculation now what I'm gonna have to get is I'm gonna have to get a set of tables that I have here uh, this set of tables that I have here is a table set of tables for the cumulative probabilities for a standard normal curve in other words it gives us the area under the curve okay up to a specific up to a specific value and it's in standard units so I can actually uh, oh, I can actually ask uh, I can ask what area what area is to the left hand side of one standard unit if that makes sense and that's what I'm going to do here okay so what I'm going to do is this is hmm so I want to go one standard deviation now so let me just do it in, in stages yeah so I'm going to ask the question okay so I have a standard normal curve okay centered on zero and I'm going to do one standard one standard unit here and I'm going to ask the question well what is the area under the curve all the way down to to minus infinity so what is the area from here down okay well all we have to do is just look up our z score our z value this is 1.00 for a z that's our z distribution here yeah okay uh, so one standard unit to the left to the right of a z curve yeah of, of the center value one standard unit is at 1.00 so at 1.00 we have we have I don't know whether you can see that here yeah okay we have 0.8413 so the area to the left is 0.8413 okay which means that the area from here across must be 1 minus 0.8413 okay so it's actually 0.84 oh it's 1 minus 0.8413 don't forget the total area under the curve is 1 the area from here across is 0.8413 which means the area over here must be 1 minus s so that gives us a value of that gives us a value the value in the right hand tail here should be 0 0.1587 okay now true symmetry through the symmetric properties yeah one standard unit on this side of the curve here okay uh minus 1.00 we should also have we should also have from here across okay that we have the same amount of area in that tail that there is in the right tail so there should be 0 0.1587 in that in that in that particular that particular left tail which means that the area in between here okay uh, the area from here down okay and from here down okay should be the area from the left of one minus the area in the left hand tail so it should be 0 0.8413 minus 0 0.1587 okay so what does that give us Okay, well, let's have a look at this. I'll just move my tables over here. Okay, what does that give us? Well, we have 0.8413 minus 0.1587 gives us a value of approximately 68.28. So actually, this is this is 0 0.6828. So actually, to be correct, okay, well, you see, this is a, an approximate value. The actual area that's one standard deviation on either side of the mean is 68. 0.28 percent correct to two decimal places okay so if you want to be that accurate about it it's 68.28 now what about two standard deviations okay so we're going to go two uh, two two standard deviations out so let me just get my my distribution again okay so we're this time we're going two standard deviations out so we're going two standard deviations okay so we're going out to 2.00 here and the question is well what's the area from here all the way here down okay so the area from here down can be calculated using our tables as well okay so two standard deviations is two z scores okay uh, on either side of zero so two standard deviations if i look at this it gives me two is is and i'm just coming across here just up a bit it's point nine it's point nine seven seven two okay so this is this area is 0 0.9772 okay which means that the area in this tail over here must be one minus that so it's one minus this so it's one minus 0.9772 which gives us a value of it's approximately 0 0.0228 okay now true symmetry if we look at two standard deviations two standard units over here so that's minus 2.00 the area in this tail must be the same as the area in that tail so the area from here across okay must be 0 0.0228 and same argument here that means that the area in between the area in between here okay in between here must be well it must be 0 0.9772 minus 
0.0228. So let's see what that gives us. That gives us 0 0.9772 minus 0 0.0228 gives us a value of, well, it's 95.44. So that's 0 0.9544. 0 0.9544. Now, what we said is of the empirical rule is 95% of the area. Well, that's what 95% is around as two SO places. But to be more precise, we're really saying it's 95.44% of the observations we'd expect to find within two standard deviations at the mean, if the distribution was bell-shaped, and more importantly, if the distribution is normally distributed. That's a really important thing for us. Now, our final example is within three standard deviations. Let me just draw the curve again. Okay. So within three standard deviations, okay. once again, zero is here, three standard deviations, three S is over here. What's the area from here under the curve? Down. So what's the area from here to cross to negative infinity? Three standard units is three S. Okay, so that's equal to that's equal to three point zero zero. Okay, three S because the standard deviation of a normal distribution, well, a standard normal distribution is one. Okay, so that, that demarcation point right here is three. So when we we go to our tables, and when we come down to three, if you can see that, it's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, out of focus there. Maybe I'll just move it around like this. Maybe if I move it in there, yeah. It says it's it's zero point. Can't really see it. It's zero point nine nine eight seven. 